Mr. Denner, find your opponent and play a one pointer. Kevin McDonough. You're giving me 65. No, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm the better player. Of course, of course. <laughs> I'm just clarifying. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, you guys are ready? Thank yeah. You. Good luck. This is a niner. Just to let you know, I will always offer an equitable hedge or ask for an equitable hedge if I think there is enough of a difference. And recently, one I, I heard someone asked to hedge, and I didn't think that I was that much better. And after the match, I saw his PR was a 12, and wished that they thought I did poorly. <laughs> realized I thought I was better, but I didn't think it was that much better. And then I realized I was wrong. <laughs> Set to go Actually, do you mind if I get a baffle box? Oh, I don't care. Do you have a baffle box or a scroll? tournament for a $50 jackpot. Three more players, $50 jackpot who are not in the tournament will start immediately.
so I will text you the web address so she can watch me play. Hey, honey, I'm actually playing Steve a, a match button. that's going to be streamed right now. It's against Pit Morgan, who's one of the uh, all time giants of Mac. And uh, actually, he's the guy that beat me in the second round of the Jury Jackpot Man. the other day. Uh, Jury Man. Man. Uh, but, well, we know we're playing in the main event. Yeah, yeah, it was a single animation format. But, you know, there's, put it this way, I think pretty well a kid, there's far worse people to lose to than kid. He's a nice guy and he's a great player and I'm honored just to be able to sit at the board with him, especially on the screen. So I'm going to send you a text to the link. Yes, ma'am. Twitch. Huh. Oh, I was just going to text to you. Can you see? Uh, 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 so just apg. Twitch.tv.apg uh, slash apbg, right? Yeah. Yeah. Twitch.tv slash apbg. APBG. Yeah, that's that's it. Okay, I just need you. Need one more player for a fifty dollar jackpot. One more player for a fifty dollar jackpot. I'll see you. Oh, okay. Guess it'd be like that. Hey Tara. I can make you a movie if you like. You don't necessarily have to subscribe to the Jackpot. Yeah, I just didn't find We had someone doing it with me yesterday, but I don't know if he's playing right now. So I'm waiting a few Justin, minutes. Justin, by the way. Yes. Yeah, I think you purchased something from me. Kit, do you know Justin? Have you met him before or you know? He so. is just been playing a few years and he's like ridiculous. Like, well past me. So good, I uh, knocked out of everything. Congratulations. He, he, you know? he doesn't win, but he's really good. Been there many a time. <laughs> he, he is now the pretty face of that official. Okay. There are more women, which I would vote for that. Which is the best we got. His nose <laughs> protruding, looking like the uh, pyramids of Giza. Actually, there's a, the, 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 I just found something about him that I'm quite jealous of. Every summer, he just goes and travels the world. In over 40 countries. I wish I could do shit like that. I wish I was smart enough when I was young. Or you to got fight. Be a single man. With a doctor is a potential. Uh, uh, but uh, bring her with me. I, I totally, seriously, I, that's one of my biggest regrets is not traveling more when I was young. Before I met my wife and was young and could just do whatever I want, whenever I want. Basically, uh, we're. Oh, Amelia, you can say hi to Amelia. You should say hi to Amelia. She'll be watching. I just sent her a little. Like, tell her how. So go easy on me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Amelia, but you guys are idiot. <laughs> what are you, you commentating on? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's going to do a commentary. He's actually fantastic. He did it in Chicago, and Bill and Tara saw him. He was transcribing and doing commentary at the same time. And Bill and Tara thought he was so great. Bill flew him out here, put him in a hotel, and so he could do commentary when he wasn't playing. Oh, you don't need to transcribe on that time. Well, let's do the live. It's on video anyway. But, uh, unless you want to go into the trouble of doing it. It's fun sometimes. I try to keep up, but it's hard to keep up. Hitler! Okay, jackpot number two is drawn. Uh, Mary Kate Lively pays for, plays Rebecca Lively. Marcy Hardrack plays Norm Friedman. She's ready. Have a good match. Tell Amelia that I said hello.
Oh, so, yeah, I, is, is that okay, by the way? Yeah, I just oh. wanted to check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're playing for 300. <laughs> Why don't we hedge five? Huh? We're playing for 300. Why don't we play for five? <laughs> hedge five. But, yeah. Well, it's basically makes it a wash except for the equity of winning more because third fourth is like 1200 yeah, or so. yeah 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 uh where are the dice are they? they're there oh here we go okay so on the opening roll i guess uh huh? So on the opening roll, I'll roll or we we'll roll and then pull back the other die. Yeah, Easy. just do it. Okay, and you have a five. Oh, can you tell him to, to stop for a second? Norm Friedman, Norm Friedman. Let's play slow. Pause for actually. Huh? Yes. She's asked to pause. What did you say? She has to pause. Scar. Oh. This is a nine point match. Tell him it was six five six five two, two, two six one. Five, six five six five. And I played it right. Yeah, I don't know about him. Six five six five. <coughs> okay. Uh, analyze. Kit won the opening roll. Kit won the Seven. opening roll. Board configuration. I should have known that. You should have waited a second. Yeah. <coughs> Hello? I am in the middle of a backgammon match. I am in the middle of a backgammon match right now. 6 5. Okay, bye bye. And now they're, we're good to go. Alright, so we got Kit Woolsley, Roy Pascar playing. Consolation round of eight, of course. We all set? You're 2 1. Yeah, I know. The opening rolls were 6-5, six, 6-5, five, six, five, <laughs> and now... He's got a 2-1 to play. Do you like some bad news? What? Do you like some bad news? What's that? You made my play. Oh. 4-2 just makes the point. 6-1. Okay, remember now, point. if you were at the, uh, there, there's Norm and Jeff. Uh, Six, five, you just played if you were at the dinner, two down, I would Friday think. Night, you, uh, you get three two down is better than one point slashing on the ace. I don't think that's good at all. To the winner. It's on the just not positional. Right You're leaving two blocks instead of uh, just right. the one on that side of the board. Check out your position. Get your match play. Oh, yeah. Also, for anybody that has an interest, Bill Farron has some really nice uh, Washington, D.C. red t shirts commemorating Ed O'Loughlin uh, getting into the Hall of Fame, Frank Raposa winning the ABT and some other 5 DC 4, not the best roll. Up here on the front table for 20 bucks a pop, they're really nice looking t shirts. So uh, take a look at them if you'd like. So I think the best play is just and to step to up. Your dinner tournament pairings. No, you don't want to leave your home board double blotted. 7 3, 6 1. I mean, it's immediately safest, but it doesn't do anything about. The main issue in the position, which is uh, the back checker, but is not blotted, so what are you going to do? It's probably okay. Two, two, three. Sure, the race, but yeah, stepping up, giving yourself an escape, splitting off the back is fine. 
pits up in the race, he might give Rory a cube here. Potential. He's got the 12 checkers in the zone. The race must not be enough for him. 13, 7, and I would play 6 to, to 1. Just to keep the extra builder there to attack him if he doesn't get to escape with a 6 this time. Which he doesn't, but he does make up some ground. He was behind in the race. And Makes a bar, lots of five. I think he's trying not to leave himself double blotted in his home board for fear of being attacked right now, but two one makes some five points. Makes two runs. Rory has 107, and Kit has Roy needs to roll that ace from the roof in order to keep this game going. If he doesn't do it, I would uh, think the cube is flying in both directions. Out towards Rory and then back to the side tray. This is a, a pretty good reply. But he still has a lot of pointing numbers. And when he points on him, you're not so worried about the blot on the ace being returned because you'll have uh, you'll have a five prop. So he's just assessing the race again. Gives him the cube. Rory scoops it. He's got the 5 2. So, uh, <laughs> on your scale of. Uh, oh, this leaves, uh, this leaves the 5 2 returner. Not sure if I would have done that one. Given the 5 2, just to cover the ace doesn't seem worth risking your racing lead if he rolls the escaping number. I can see it helps his attack for the future, but uh, you know, he could have just rolled a, a 5 and he would have been off to the races and burying the checker on the, the ace point wouldn't have been the best. But it pays off here, provided he doesn't roll the 2 6 or the 3 5, double sixes. Barry Howard. He can break the 10 point and cover the 8. And come Barry up to the Howard. Eight. 7 here. He seems to have really good distribution. Jose Vargas. 2 5. Lots of dudes. Jury Inland. 2 3. Come into the 8 and then bring the 7 to the 5 is what I would do just to kind of give myself more builders to attack with. You really want this bear from Benjamin seven and Harris. five gives you an extra number to point on him. Benjamin Harris. Four two makes the deuce. 
Yes, Five, one. Greg Raposa. So you could consider hitting on the deuce. Not that you really need to, but if he hits you back on the deuce, it's not like he can just leave, right? Because the sixes are still blocked. If he hits you, numbers like uh, two, four, and two, five leave lots. So yeah, okay, we have right an announcement here. Our uh, advanced division coach, Mike Rowland. Provided it doesn't happen. Ooh, saw the five first. Looks like a four one. Taking the second checker off. Uh, I think I would just play to the ace. I don't want to give as many extra numbers to Casey fans again. 6 2 leaves a shot anyway. Play it into the three point. 5 4. Gets one this game. said Kits won this game. <laughs> there you go. On to the next one. One. Yeah, I would play six to five just to diversify. And plus, if he points on you on the four points, it's not like he made the next best point in his board, which would be the five. He's making the four on your head. You don't want to do this. You want to stay split because he's likely to make the priming structure. This seems quite a bit timid. Um, Five. See, now you'd be shooting at six. Maybe he would go something different. But. Ah, double four just rectifies the situation. 
And I would just play the other two down to make the nine. You don't want to give the six, two, three, five, so you might as well make the, the outside point. Put the builders into place to make the inner board points later or make the bar point in the future. You don't have to worry about being trapped on the 20, so it seems clear. Peter likes making the four better. I don't, but. Six, five. I don't think you can do anything else besides just run to the. Uh, Run to the 13, I think. Is that the done? Yeah. yeah, running to the 13 is the only play that saves you the cube. So this was a really big blunder. About 15% error, not running all the way. You kind of kind of just crashed yourself, right? You've got to try to give yourself the freedom. So if you hit the one guy, it's the five, you're still shooting at him. The guy you just put on the 13. And if he rolls the ace, it's not the end of the day anyway. And there's the opportunity for him just to miss. Or he doubles. And Kit takes. Thank you. 4 2, followed by 6 5. Now what? Now you're going to run, right? Hits him. Wait, why didn't you hit the second guy? Yeah. I like maybe hitting the second guy. Rory's, uh, Kit's double blotted in his home board, so the return shots don't cost much, but it actually jacks up the gamins quite a bit. He's got a 4-2 to play. And he should hit. Yeah, I like stepping up from the back. I don't want to slot the bar and give him uh, numbers like 3-4 to hit me. This seems fine. He still does have one bot in his home board. And what else are you really going to do with the four? No, 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 no. Because then you give him the opportunity to create better flexibility for himself by, by running. Good, he found it. Nice play. Four, five. See, just fans. Easy game. 2-3 just makes the bar. That pretty much locks things up, provided he can roll a number larger than a 3 in the future. 3-1. Three, well, the 3 is clear. And he didn't hit the guy. He uh, opted against it. And what's he doing? Six five pointing on. Well, yeah, that seems reasonable. Tax jacks up the gammons. Double fours. You can remake the six prime. Well, I mean, I would start by remaking the six prime. Although maybe there's a lot of attacking plays that are close. So what you could do is uh, attack on the ace if you wanted, right? You could attack on the ace, play the guy into the four. Double 
six units. Plays itself. Double slot. I know. And here, are you still playing it anything? Are you going to help me out over here? <laughs> oh, that's so nice of you. Yeah, yeah, because right now, I mean, so he's breaking the, he's paying off to the 6-1 right now, is that the plan? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem too bad, he is double blotted in his home board right now. Yeah, but after this one, he's got some uncomfortable numbers, 3-5. He rolled it. The punishment. <laughs> ah, he misses. The dinner, the dinner tournament bracket over here on the uh, air wall. Um, the dinner, why leave the blot on the six? You don't want to play your five, but maybe he's trying to leave it slotted for the future. If you were in the dinner, look at the bracket. We're not going to waste time on people. Two five. In these situations, I normally clean that, that five up. If you don't really want to play your fives, right? Forward. Is he ever going to roll a number larger than a, th a four again? What is this? At this rate, he might get gammoned. He really needs to hop out now. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> this just seems rude. Well, at least he gets a shot now. Yeah, two off. Does he roll it? 5-1, no, but at least he rolls the number that gets to leave, but all that time spent back there might send him to Gammonsville. 5-1, it's a nice clean number. It's getting close. Three, four. I mean, you're not wasting any pips by staying a roll, so. Five, four. Six, three. I think it's time to go. Go all the way. Yeah. The BG's been saved. Five, four. The gammon, though, that is up in the air. Oh, four, five. He's got a chance. Five in, four down. Three, one. Did he save it? No. Oh, man. Just missed. Just missed. Yeah, it's funny, right? Six, one would have been better than six, four. Let's see here. Sam Ahmed. All right. Sam Ahmed. Hey, Amelia. I don't know if you're watching, but if you are, hello. No, I'm not watching the Twitch chat right now. Um, because I was... Uh, <laughs> Just tried to transcribe and talk at the same time, which was, which was a bit much. But uh, rolls like four two, I know how to play. Uh, first ben three rolls Harris. generally pretty good. After that, ben you know, Harris. time to split. What did you do? Ah. Uh, He actually said idiot to you? Oh, uh, why are you even alive if you don't know? <laughs> yeah, that's true, right? Um, there's no hiding on stream, that's for sure. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, once somebody like Neil calls you out for doing something uh, well known or a little less than optimal, you you certainly remember. Yeah, normally with the ace, it's better to um, to get off the twenty four and make the twenty three. Wins more games, saves more gammons. Fours. Fade a six here. And the ace gives him some chances. Ah, and he saves it. Now we can think about the cube now. Yeah, I mean, he's got literally six lined up in a row just ready to make the prime right now. So um, what numbers lose the market? 6-5 probably does. I don't know. But four to six is one is five prime. He's still getting primed himself a little bit. He still has some game left. But, uh, this could turn out really, really poorly, I would consider. My thought isn't really about this cube, it's about whether or not I'm going to take it. Yeah. Maybe Rory is just taking his time to maybe he's gonna talk him into the talk him into the take. I don't even I don't even know if it's a cube, you know? Set him up for the future. All right. Well, since he's trailing in the match, he's playing the four-one slot. There you go. What's Rory going to choose to do? Is he going to play two down here against this, or is he going to split? Last quarter for Ben Harris. He's normally split with the two. So with the two or the three there. Five minutes. Because with the 2-1, followed by 3 two, and split. So it seems to make sense with the 4-1 uh, the as well. Yeah, you're supposed to split with the 3 against the 2-1 slot too, but you don't really see the 4-1 slot as much anymore, so. Well, he tricked them. So he gained some equity there, right? He gave up a little bit with the slot, but. Or he gave up more by not knowing the reply. But after hearing the stream and us making fun of him, uh, I guess he'll remember too next time, won't he? Because the way you think about it, he's really improving his prime value because he's a favorite to cover it on the next roll. And what do you want to do when you're being primed? You want to split. So it makes perfect sense. whether or not he just wants to hit it or he wants to make the bar. I favor just making the bar and leaving the G. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Well, the six is something we play first, right? This gives him a... What is it? What is it then? Good. All right. I just woke up, so as long as I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was really fast, right? Oh, he just insta snaps it. Oh, he's on the roof, though. Okay, makes sense. And then he's got five prime. He gets to hit the guy and make the prime? Yeah, sign me up for those numbers, please. Three, one, not the best. Just step up and play six to five, right? I mean, you're not doing anything to your structure. No, no, that's, that's going crazy. Really? Yeah, I mean, I thought about it. it. Seemed a little bit much. 
He doesn't want to hit you now. The double threes. He could make the four points and hit loose on the three, right? Yeah, I mean, it leaves your position a bit stripped on the outside when you're trying to escape the, the last guy and you roll one of those bad numbers. So, I mean, if hitting two is right in the last one, then this is something you can consider here, too. But, I mean, the board is a little bit better now. It's hard to argue against the six one. Yeah, so it was right to just make the four point and hit loose, which is something that I might have been able to do without computer assistance, but who knows? Three gallery organism. Kind of nice, but if you gotta roll it off, so how are you gonna roll it off? I don't know if it's Well here this play is easy. I mean you gotta just make the anchor and hit him, hope he cracks, right? You're taking away his timing. He made the strip play. Oh the baffle box, how dare you do that to me? How dare you do that to me, Battle Box? Oh my goodness, as if you needed more stuff to put on the board, a Battle Box on both sides. There'd be no place for the cube. <laughs> There'd be no place for the There's barely a place for the cube anymore anyway. Especially if you try to put the clock on the board instead of off the board like it is right here. Luckily, Terra's got a, a wide angle lens on this thing. Roll five and the lift. Yeah, but they use webcams instead of the action cams here. And the webcams don't have the uh, Gary the lens on them as well. You would look crazy talking to your grandmother with a uh, <laughs> That's what we use webcams for, right? Talking to your grandmother. <coughs> <laughs> Double fives. That's the only number he lost. He's like, ah, oh, I'm just going to leave the double fives. Wow. Well, that's unfortunate for uh, for Kit, but your Rory's daughter watching. You say, yes, Dad. Well, listen, if you roll double fives in that position, it's hard to mess it up. <laughs> Oh, double four. Oh, no, for sure. And the previous play that you spotted with the uh, breaking the prime. The double hit there, too, with the 3 1. Very powered yeah. for last Question, chance. right? Very powered. I mean, in prime versus prime, purity is the most important than anything else. And how are you supposed to survive the position without doing it, right? All of his sixes and fives play right now. They slash, right? And then the guy's going to be sitting there with him on the roof. It's time to do it. So I, I can see his conundrum. I might do this too just because uh, I'm a chicken. But yeah, he gets to be, um, he gets to be attacked. Whose role is this? Kids? All right, so yeah, this is obvious. Chris Trencher. With a. Oh. He needed a 1 5, that would have been funny. Double 6. One, and then play the 3 in. Well, this game could be over. This could be the last game. Rory wins this game. And why isn't he bringing the 3 in? He's worried about double ones, right? Gives himself more attackers. Go the game. But he anchored anyway, so. Five. Uh, he doesn't want to leave six five again. <laughs> you see? Chris Trencher. 
Yeah, he's looking at the 6-5 again that he did last time that left the shot, right? He's entered with the ace, he rolls the 6-5 again. Lee 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 Still hasn't had the opportunity to clear the six, though. But when he brought all of his checkers in, he had four guys on the six, which no, obviously Maric, makes it much more Ryan difficult. Lenz. Six three, still safe for now. One. Well, he's trying to get off. Is he going to be able to get off the gamut if he doesn't get a shot here? Consider making the bar and just slotting the two. I mean, that probably wins more games. But it's definitely safe in those chances. Yeah, he can save this. He needs to. He wants this match to continue past this game. Five two. Oh, well, there you go. That's the gammon saver. Okay, if you're not in any other event, I've got three of you, three more players for another $50 jackpot. Five point matches, winner gets 180. Three more players, $50 jackpot. Single game. I wonder if he hedged his kit before this game. Yeah, I No. Yes. You're outboarded. Wow, yeah, no, I didn't see that one coming because you just diversify. Maybe he doesn't even get out. You know? I mean, he does, he rolls level fives, whatever. But. 
Yeah, it didn't seem right. Does not seem right. Yeah, it just makes the outside point. Oh. Around the roof. He's like, why aren't I? No oh, okay. So now he gets to the 6 5. Oh, we danced with the 6 5. This is original. Wait. Yeah. And it's still flexible enough to make points in the future without leaving the blocks out there. You just need to win this game, right? You don't need to win Gammons. Especially if the guy enters on the four point like this, you know? Now Roy just needs to roll his with his double fives again and he should be fine. He hopped out, down in the race. Oh man, that's no good. Yeah, I mean, you're down in the race by the whole race. You know? Well, what happened in the previous game? I mean, it probably doesn't affect him. I mean, it affects everyone. I, I lost an eight cube yesterday that I could see when I looked at the transcription affected my next game because there were certain plays that I wouldn't have otherwise. Um, yeah, I missed yeah, but I missed the first game. Yeah, I mean, holding the cube in this position is just gin, pretty much. So, I say pretty much because you know anything's possible. He could be shot while trying to clear, <coughs> but if I'm like the way Rory's been rolling, he can clear right now. I know. <laughs> and Victor walks away, not excited by the action at the table anymore. You know. Yeah. Which is about as many points as we've tracked uh, <laughs> with XG. So, yeah, you make the bar. You're losing the race. You could roll the sixth one right now. It's on there. Uh, nope. So, looks like Rory won this match in record time. Why? Why are you doing that three? You could just split off for the 18 point. I mean, no, of course not. It doesn't really matter. Of course, you roll four consecutive double sixes. <coughs> and even then, you'd be an underdog because Rory's still rolling, too. But, uh. I feel like everything matters a little bit. Even just for the long shots, because they happen. I have scars proving, proving it. Margie? Yeah. I'm gonna get off the gamut. This is over. He's <laughs> blaming Victor now. He's bad luck for standing there. He said there is no luck. It's all skill. You should have. Uh... <laughs> good news. Uh, is that good news? You might want to change the dice though. <laughs> These are clearly favored towards me. Seven anyway, first or two on. Because he probably did, because the first game it was really bad, so. I don't know if it was or not. I lost the transcription five minutes in. I'm just joking. But I can just assume. Well, but if I had known I had a better dice than God, yeah, no yeah, he would give to anyone who wouldn't have hedged. <laughs> well, I mean, every roll Thank was you. double, so. Yeah, they need to do our steam, I'll tell them that you don't. Alright, well, we're already one. PR was a 7. Uh, 
No, I'm kidding. It's, uh, Clear. Probably around a Clear three time. for this match, Why not? considering uh, what happened in the first so. game. But with what we tracked right here, it's going to be around two and a half. We looked over the last game for what, five point two. All right, not bad. You rolled. Your your luck factor was a five. I said astronomical. Really? Yeah. Five's not that astronomical. As a luck factor? Yeah. That's every point. Every point set, almost. Set some clock, right? They say if you're... 13 points. My Q-Baxter is pretty good. Yeah, no, listen, your PR is fine. Oh, okay. But we...